Even after his sudden and tragic passing in August of 2023, Bray Wyatt was still entertaining us. A little over three months after Wyatt's death, the animated movie Dare Wimpy Kid Christmas Cabin Fever was released on Disney+. Plus. The plot involves Greg Heffley and his friend Rowley accidentally damaging a city snow plow. Since they damaged government property, the two become wanted criminals. During a daydream sequence, Greg pictures himself and Rowley getting caught and thrown in jail, and guess who voices the prison guard? I hope you like your present! It looks like you're gonna have to share! <laughs> That's the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, voicing the prison guard. Greg Heffley just better be glad that Wyatt didn't lock him inside the Firefly Funhouse. Wanna see Seth Rollins voice a dog? Well, you can if you check out the animated film, Trouble. The movie follows a pampered, rich dog named, well, Trouble. After Trouble's owner dies, the dog accidentally gets locked in a moving truck and is forced to survive on his own. Eventually, Trouble stumbles upon a dog park and meets up with a group of canines. One of them is named Norm, and he's voiced by the architect of the shield. Relax, it's a basic dog trick. Watch. Nope, nope, nope. Seth Rollins' character doesn't play a huge role in the film, but he does help Trouble throughout his adventure. Also, it's pretty cool that Rollins' dog wears a shirt that says SWAT. Maybe it's just because I'm a wrestling fan, but this seems like a slight reference to Seth Rollins' days as a member of The Shield. But butt wiping is the best feeling in the world. Let's show him, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, right there. Oh, no, uh, there is one other wrestling related appearance in this movie. WWE Hall of Famer Snoop Dogg is also in the film. Dumpster Dive. It's not pretty, but it keeps us street dogs alive. You feel me? I guess the pun was just too tempting. In 2016, The Rock became the first WWE wrestler to appear in a Disney animated musical. In the film Moana, the Great One plays a demigod named Maui who can shapeshift. He teams up with a young girl named Moana, and the two have to go on an adventure to save the world. Unfortunately, The Rock doesn't give anyone a rock bottom or the people's elbow, but it does look like he gives a signature eyebrow raise in this scene. Even with limited WWE references, the Brahma Bull still has some of the funniest lines in the movie. The ocean chose you for a reason. If you start singing, I'm gonna throw up. First, we get my hook. Then save the world. Deal? Deal. <laughs> Worth a shot. It's cold. Wait, it's getting warmer. <gasps> oh, that is disgusting! What is wrong with you? <laughs> In addition to funny lines, The Rock also sings. What can I say except you're welcome for the tides, the sun, the sky. Make of that what you will. All right, this next one is a little different, but trust me, it's cool. In the Netflix series, Captain Laserhawk, a Blood Dragon remix, the United States has been taken over by a mega corporation named Eden. The titular Captain Laserhawk is a rebel fighting against the system, but ends up being taken prisoner and instructed to lead a group of other rebels. Funny enough, one of the other rebels is Cody Rhodes. It's not even like he's playing a character. He's straight up Cody Rhodes. I'm Cody Rhodes, and I'm supposed to be fighting for the championship tomorrow. The American Nightmare, or should I say, Eden Nightmare, also has some of the best lines. Our memories live on past us, embedded in the DNA of our ancestors. That's a frog. Unfortunately, Cody dies just as soon as he gets introduced, so I guess he won't be able to finish the story. Now I know what you're thinking, that can't be the real Cody Rhodes voicing that character. Well, lo and behold, take a look at the voice credit. Unlike every other movie we've looked at so far, this next one features two WWE wrestlers. The 2021 animated film Rumble takes place in a world where humans train giant monsters to wrestle. Basically Pokemon without the balls. Anyway, the movie follows a girl named Winnie who has to find a monster to coach so that her hometown has a fighter to represent it. While scouting talent, Wayne discovers a monster named Axe Hammer, voiced by the man. You like that? Axe Hammer is the man! <laughs> That's Becky Lynch providing the voice for the giant reptilian monster. And just like Becky in real life, Axe Hammer destroys her competition. However, when Winnie offers to coach her, Lynch's character is brutally honest. You're the coach, huh? <laughs> While the man isn't seen much after this scene, there is another WWE wrestler who appears later in the movie. Eventually, Winnie finds a monster to train named Ray Byrne Jr. You know you're a wrestling fan when that name makes you think of Ray Mysterio Jr. Anyways, during their first match together, Ray Byrne and Winnie take on a monster named Ramarilla Jackson. No, sorry, I, just, I, I love to laugh, that's me. Oh, I ain't laughing, but I will be when I pin your face in the dirt and I break your tail with my horns! <laughs> Why does that sound painful? 
That's the voice of the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Get up, drama queen. I know you can hear me, you big faker. Even though Rayburn is more than okay with losing the match, Roman's character wants a fight. That right there tells you this is a work of fiction. Anyways, Rayburn's strategy of running away actually works out, and Gorilla Reigns dies of exhaustion, allowing Rayburn and Winnie to win the match. Once John Cena made the transition from WWE wrestler to movie star, it was only a matter of time before the leader of the C Nation starred in an animated movie. For John Cena, his big animated debut was in 2017's Ferdinand. In the film, Cena plays a bull named Ferdinand, who is bred to be a fighter. Step light, you are a feather. A 2,000 pound feather. However, Ferdinand does not want to fight, which is ironic considering John Cena's WWE background. The movie follows John Cena's character as he tries to create a new life for himself while escaping the one he was born into. You get to fight in a big fancy arena, but I'm telling you, it's just another chop house. Hey, they say the exact same thing about WWE. Unfortunately, Bull Cena doesn't hit any WWE moves or make any references to his wrestling career, but just like in WWE, Ferdinand wins in the end. This next wrestler appearance is a bit unusual, but stay with me, you'll want to hear this voice. The two-part film Justice League XRWBY is a crossover movie between the DC superhero team The Justice League and the anime-influenced fantasy series RWBY, which I just realized is supposed to be pronounced Ruby. Anyways, in the movie, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and the other Justice League members get trapped in the Ruby world and have to team up with those characters. Don't ask me why they look like VTubers. In true crossover fashion, the two sides have to work together to fight the villains from both series. But enough of that, who's the wrestler who appears in this movie? Well, eventually, the monsters from the Ruby universe invade the Justice League's world. Because of this, the DC villains decide to team up with the Justice League. This includes Killer Croc. Now see if you recognize this voice. And they call me ugly. Are you gonna kill me? No, idiot, I'm helping. Go, no! Any guesses? The voice of Killer Croc is Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. Kinda makes me wonder what he said to that kid after they ran off. Dad, I'm adopted? Regardless, MJF has a pretty small role. He comes back towards the end of the movie and helps take down the big bad guy of the film, Kilgore. You made it so we had to work with the heroes. It's embarrassing. Have you ever wanted to hear Hulk Hogan sell you a lawnmower? Then you need to check out the 2011 animated film Nomeo and Juliet, which is about two rival gardens inhabited by sentient lawn gnomes. Anyways, at one point, one of the gnomes sees the owner of the garden looking for a new lawnmower when an ad starts playing. Are you losing the war in your garden? Well, brother, maybe it's time for a secret weapon. Terra Terminator! Yep, that's the Hulkster Hulk Hogan endorsing a lawnmower named Terra Furminator. Even better is that Hogan still manages to drop a decent number of brothers during the commercial. Your lawn will be afraid to grow, Terra Furminator! It's a weapon of grass destruction! Terra Furminator will not hit grass from growing, not recommended for residential use, brother. <laughs> One of Hulk Hogan's greatest tag team partners and rivals, the Macho Man Randy Savage, also made an animated film appearance. In the opening of the Disney film Bolt, the titular Bolt and his owner, Penny, are trying to learn the whereabouts of Penny's father. They chase down a thug for information, which prompts Bolt to use his superpowers to flip the bad guy's car upside down so they can get some answers. What? Where's Calico? I'm not talking to you. That unmistakable voice belongs to the one and only Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, and by the way, he does talk to them. Bolivia! Bolivia! Chemicals in Bolivia! Near Lake Rogaguado! <laughs> Big E is perfect for voice acting, which is why it's so cool to see him in the animated short film, Bridges. The story is about a 12-year-old girl who's dealing with social anxiety. She goes on a virtual field trip to the Hall of Heroes. A curated collection of the greatest heroes in all of history. And a gift shot! As you heard, Big E voices a tour guide robot, and no, he doesn't hit any of the kids with the big ending. Still, Big E brings the same charm and energy from WWE to this film. There you are! I know I didn't leave you in a closet this time. You've heard WWE wrestlers' voices in movies. Now hear their theme songs. Watch this video to listen to WWE entrance themes that were used in movies.